Oh, uh, wait. What? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm out of it. Alright, just stay focused. Alright. Um, yeah, I think just sitting and thinking this through isn't going to do me any favors. I should really just go down there and see if there's anything I missed. Because at this rate, a solid minute of waiting is going to turn into 2 minutes, and then that's going to turn into 4 minutes, and then that'll become 8 minutes. All I can say is exponential growth is a bitch. Besides, <laughs> call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure that the people that are counting on me aren't going to be too pleased or commend me for a methodical approach to navigating rooms. <laughs> Patience isn't exactly a virtue those in distress value. And I mean, understandably so, but I can only get through rooms that are barely holding themselves together so fast. And it's not like I want to take this long, but I don't have a decision in the matter. My ammo when it comes to navigation at this point is to just peer over every nook and cranny in a room before Occam's razor kicks. In. William of Occam, you've done it again. Also, how the hell did I miss this? I walked by here a few minutes ago. Eh, I'm just blind. Okay. Very light, nice. I wonder if I'll be able to catch up to that guy I saw up on the catwalk, assuming he's still alive. <clears throat> this is good. Actually, wait, will I cave in under my weight? Uh, better to just not risk breaking the box, because for all I know, these other boxes could have like a metric ton of shit in them. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's why I don't want to accidentally break the box. <clears throat> oh, this one's fine though, nice. So you are gonna go here, and then... <clears throat> then I'm gonna grab you and bring you up here, after which my involvement with Uncle Aaron's moving company will have come full circle. And then... <clears throat> oh, this is actually a bit tight. Um, uh, ow! <sighs> ow. <clears throat> I guess that's what I get for saying that that guy was gonna die like three different times. Anyway, I made it. Yay. It's incredible what humans can do with just two boxes, two eyes, and a bump on the head. Ouch. The, the fuck? You keep teleporting close to me, Chief. I definitely cannot pull a trigger faster than you can react. Ah, oh, jeez, this fucking song and dance again! Okay, three at the same time, different story. Might be a bit mu- uh, 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 uh. Like I've said, the electricity won't kill me. It just hurts. But three at the same time, I don't know. And thank god nobody else is around to hear this shit. Oh, hey. Well, hopefully he didn't hear. Also, please don't be like the last guy, no offense. Uh, hey. I'm glad to see another member of the science team. Gordon Freeman, it is you, isn't it? Yup. The science team has been tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Oh. Unfortunately, so has the military. Oh. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Man. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. True. It's cold in there, so you'll have to hurry. It could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. Er, uh, right, right. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda Complex, uh, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. Alright, got gotcha. you. It's worked for me, so far. Right, um, thank you. I'll try my best to put your information to good use and- Oh, that's- Holy shit, yeah, thanks. I'll just get a move on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Gold my ass, what is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never been so... Hold in my life. Warm pipes. Shit. I, even after everything that's happened so far, I did not uh, expect to have to go and subject myself to what was essentially 10 Kelvin. Uh, icing on the cake would have been if that guy 
forced me in there and was adamant that I fight some abominable snowman-esque alien or something. God help me if such a thing exists. <clears throat> I, I better shut up. I don't want to Beetlejuice myself again. <sighs> anyway, while I didn't get a map from the guy, the, the information he gave me is super valuable. So in the end, he might have just saved everybody here. In the same vein as how these pipes distributing hot water across the facility saved me from hypothermia, frostbite, chill blains, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, goddamn, if avoiding the military means I have to stick to the rundown, rusted, and musty old parts of the research facility, you best believe I'll fucking do it. Oh, great. I humbly acknowledge there's no avoiding you lot. Uh, are you kidding? That was... Some very sneaky teleporting. I mean, it failed, but still, A for effort. But yeah, from what I've seen, it's a bit more difficult to evade enemy combatants that can bend space-time to their will. Anyways, looks like the only way from here is up to the surface, most likely. Oh man. Well, here's to hoping that they won't start up any bombing runs now that the rocket's been launched. Missile to the face would net me a bingo, though, so... Freeman, right? Uh, yeah? I got a message for you. Make sure you don't- <laughs> Oh, shit! Uh, uh, okay, so he was cut off unceremoniously, so all I can do here is just interpret what he said literally. But what the hell just happened? I hate not knowing what I'm going up against. I mean, it's clearly the military, but did they adopt a stealthier approach? Shit. Oh, fuck, this is bad. No. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, what can I do here? Um, uh... Oh. Okay, two down. I just have to keep moving in order to compensate for how mobile they are. What? What? The fuck? You're actually fucking kidding me. There is such a thing as too mobile. And that makes three. Three problems, three bodies, technically four, and three big questions. But first, please let that be all of them, unless the last one's opportunistic. Okay, um, what am I looking at? Uh... Silenced pistols, women in skin tight black bodysuits, very combat inconvenient. Uh, they have to be with the military, right? And I'm still expecting something. God damn it. This is a really bad sign because this is new. After all of the dead squads, the ambushes, and the whole rocket fiasco, they. they must be the government's ace in the hole. It's morning. It's morning now, and it's still so quiet. So things haven't changed since last night. The military still has the entire facility under lockdown. <laughs> I can't let this phase me. Like that guy said, I just have to continue moving through the abandoned parts of the facility. And sure, the HEV suit has a built-in tracking device. Multiple of them, in fact. Sure, the military has complete control over the entire area. And sure, the US government has resorted to deploying assassins with Olympic-level athletic capabilities to deal with me. But the thing is, none of that has stopped me. Not even that little encounter just now. And the reason for that is because I didn't let it stop me. So long as I have the will to continue going forward, nothing's going to stop me. I am in complete control of my situation. And if I start to feel like I'm not, I'll just have to convince myself that I am in order to make any sort of tangible progress towards ending this nightmare. I just don't like breaking promises. I mean, that's why I'm here after all. I came back to the facility because of a promise. A superficial promise to Freeman? And a promise to mom. 
And I'm not leaving this war-torn facility until I fulfilled my promise to not only everybody left alive, but those unfortunate enough not to be. So if that means having to oppose both invading alien wildlife and the Department of Defense for the remainder of my life, then so be it. There's already blood on my hands, and I don't mind a little bit more. Alright, enough waxing philosophical. Can I please find an exit? Like, I'd fly that chopper out of here if I could, but I'm clearly not a pilot. Huh. <sighs> well, like I said, Occam's Razor. <sighs> Surface access. Kind of the opposite of where I want to go, but oh well. So, what exactly did that open? Uh, oh, I see. Also, am I even invoking Occam's Razor correctly? Ah, who cares? It's not like anyone's around to correct me on it. I mean, who's gonna point it out? Those three assassins? I'd imagine it would be hard to issue corrections when your lungs are more full of 9mm bullets than they are air. Wait, is that going too far? What am I saying? They tried to kill me. Fuck it. Huh. Very conspicuous. Maybe this is the truck the assassins came in. Uh, not very likely. The guard probably would have heard them. Or maybe that's what he was warning me about. But why would he be so calm? Actually, what was he going to tell me? The assassins kind of fucked me over in that regard. I mean, it probably wasn't another objective since he said not to do something. I don't know what that something is, but, you know, again, I got fucked up.